Hello everyone, thank you for joining again. My name is Taylor and today I'm going to show you how to use dictionaries in Python. Dictionaries are key value pairs and it allows us to have one key and have multiple values. So let's go ahead and create our Python file. I'm going to be using Kate as our text editor today so go ahead and click on save here. And I'll give this a name of dict.py. Now that we have our file here, let's go ahead and instantiate our main function. We say if underscore underscore name underscore underscore double equals underscore underscore main underscore underscore and add a colon at the end. Now let's hit enter here. Let's go ahead and create an empty dictionary. I'll give it a variable name of our dictionary is equal to and we instantiate a dictionary by opening and closing braces. So now we have an empty dictionary. Let's go ahead and add items to that dictionary. We do that by calling our dictionary the variable name, open and close brackets, and in those brackets let's open and close quotations. Here we could name any key. So this will be our key for our value. So the key can be anything you would like. I'll name it key one. And we can set that equal to some value. I'll say value one. Now let's hit enter and let's print out our dictionary. We can do that by typing print our dictionary. So let's run this program, opening up the terminal down here. Let's type Python space dict dot py hit enter as you can see we have a dictionary that contains the key key one and the value of value one if we just wanted to know the value of key one we would open and close brackets and open and close quotations and inside of those quotations you give it the key so let's save this and rerun the program as you can see, it only returns value one. Now, what if we had a list full of keys and values? Let's go ahead and create our key list. So I'll name this key list is equal to open and close brackets. We'll say key one, comma, key two, comma, key three. And let's do the same thing for our value list. So value list is equal to open and close brackets, open and close quotations, and in there we'll say value one, value two, comma, value three. So now that we have our key and value list, let's go ahead and dynamically create our dictionary. So let's delete this part here of our code, and let's say for I, in range of the length of key list. What this is saying is get the length of our key list, which is three because there are three items in our key list. And then let's assign zero, one, two to this I here. So whenever we loop for the first time, I will equal zero. We loop for the second time, I will equal one and we loop for the third time, I will equal two. Let's go ahead and add a colon at the end, hit enter here, and now let's go ahead and say our dictionary at index, and here we can say key list, because that's our key list, and you know that inside of the dictionary brackets, we have to specify our key at index i. What this is saying, is go to the key list and get each value that is within our key list. So key one, key two, and key three. And assign that key value to our dictionary. Now let's go ahead and say equals. Now we have to call our value list at index i. So what this is saying is go into our value list and get each value within our value list. So value one, value two, value three. Every time this loops, a new key is generated and a new value is also generated. 
So let's go ahead and go outside of our for loop and say print our dictionary and save it. And let's see our dictionary now. So let's say Python space dic.py. As you can see, we have key one and the key one value is value one. We have key two and our key two value is value two and key three has value three. We can also loop through our dictionary. Let's go ahead and do that now. So if we said for i in, instead of using range, let's call our dictionary name. So what this is going to do is get the key of our dictionary. The i will represent the key in our dictionary. And let's type a colon at the end and hit enter. And here, let's go ahead and say print i. You're going to see it's going to say key 1, key 2, and key 3. Let's go ahead and run this program by typing Python and our file name. As you can see, it says key 1, key 2, and key 3. Now, what if we wanted our values in our dictionary? We can do that by calling our dictionary at index i. Because i represents our key in the dictionary. So let's go ahead and rerun this program, typing Python in our file name. As you can see, it returns value 1, value 2, and value 3. So that's just the basics on how dictionaries work. They become very useful when you have a single key for multiple values and whenever you're working with JSON objects. Thank you all for watching, and I hope to see you next time.